remember, I think last year, we were going, we were in a class, I don't remember, we were learning about, but they were like, do you have any questions? I would raise my hand, everybody else would call down but me. And then they were like, okay, let's go on, and none of their questions had any meaning, had anything to do with the lesson. Better example, I'll say eighth grade. I had this one teacher, very misogynistic. But, so then like, just anytime we'd be like, do you know, like, hey, you know, like, we're learning about science. It's always the science teachers. It's like, hey, you know, we're learning about this, so we need to know how it works. And it's like, well, I don't know. But instead of saying that, they would be like, it's in your book, and then just continue. So while we're flipping through the book, everyone else is working on the assignment. And like, it's so strange, but nobody else would look in the books. So when we got the answers wrong, you know, when you get the answer right, after you're going through it with the teacher, there's this, oh, okay, there was nothing, because everyone was trying to change the answers because they still don't know where they got it wrong. So instead of like being like, you got this wrong because, and here's how you can fix it so you don't get it wrong again, it's you should figure it out by yourself. You didn't figure it out by yourself? Okay, well then you're stuck. I wanted to be a um, psychological biologist when I got older. You're already being told that you're wrong for being there. And then his class especially, that was when I started zoning out like, okay, I can do this work by myself. And if I didn't, the highest I needed was a C. I always got to be at the like, highest I needed was a C. So it was fun because it's just at some point you're like, you know what? Maybe I don't want to do this anymore. Black students are the people to be bossed around. They're the ones who are putting in the work for dreams that aren't theirs. Like seeing a black person as um, a supervisor or like a producer, a producer, like CEO, like someone who actually is able to run things, it's very uncalled of. But then if you walk around and you see them like at fast food restaurants or if they're the ones in the offices instead of the ones running the offices, then like, okay, this is how things are supposed to be. It's not until you try to break out and they're like, no, you should stay here, this is better for you, watching other people be successful in other places and doing other things. And it's like, your method isn't working and their method is, why is this method better for me? And it's like, because it's what you're used to, because it's where you're supposed to be. And that's not how it's supposed to be. I would tell them that they're just as human as we are and that they don't need to treat anyone different regardless of age or race or gender or situation because at the end of the day, we're all the same, like we're still human beings with feelings and emotions and plans and hopes and dreams. At the end of the day, we're all on the same scale. You're just older. What does age have to do with anything?